Greetings! I see that you got a few things wrong in your video regarding record cold in parts of the Northern Hemisphere, as well as a few things wrong about Antarctic ice. Would you like me to make a reply video correcting your mistakes, or are you content to remain ignorant? Affectionately yours, Deserty Desert File. Postscript. Hugs. Hugs. Kisses. Hugs. Hugs. Send that puppy. I provided a link to the information I discussed. After you read it, if you still feel you need to make a reply video, please feel free to do so. Why? I will. And today I want to talk about the record cold that's striking Asia right now. Now, in China, some parts are experiencing the lowest average temperature in 40 years. Yes, and all of the scientists know why. By the way, I've tried to mute your disgusting lip smacking noises, but I didn't get all of it, so I apologize to anyone and everyone watching this video. Who gets repulsed? To continue. A thousand ships have been stuck in the ice at Laijiao Bay. 10,500 square miles of sea surface has frozen in Bohai Bay. Yes, terrible thing. Scientists know why, too. And this isn't limited to just China. Uh, Russia is having its coldest winter since 1938. Yes. And they deserve it, god damn them. With temperatures plunging as low as negative 58. Uh, also, India, northern India, is experiencing its coldest weather in over 44 years. Yes, we know! Scientists know why! It's cold out there! Get on with it! Now I know, some of you out there might be saying, well maybe global warming isn't real. Only a complete retard, that is a Fox quote news unquote viewer, would be saying that. But you'd be absolutely wrong, at least according to the Chinese Meteorological Association. Yes, and nearly 700 other Earth Sciences science organizations in over 80 countries, and they've been saying that for almost 180 years, but hey, um, if China also says it, that's a plus. Now, in the article I read talking about the deep freeze in China, the very second sentence wanted to make sure that you didn't get any wise ideas about global warming. And it read, as I quote, the Chinese National Meteorological Agency said polar fronts caused by global warming are to blame for the frigid air. As human release carbon dioxide continues to increase in Earth's atmosphere, the global average temperature has increased and is increasing. This has caused and is causing abnormal warming in the Arctic region. That means less sea ice extent and also less ice mass. That extra energy that humans have caused to be retained in the Arctic region has caused and is causing the jet stream to go farther south and farther north than historically it has gone in the past. This brings cold, frigid air down from the northern Arctic regions to the southern regions. It also slows down the jet stream and we get longer periods of cold and longer periods of warm. Now, this article spent over a third of it discussing the science of how this is possible. Yes, and the World of Science Science Index lists over 300 peer-reviewed science papers published in science journals that explain exactly what is going on at this moment. Why Northern Hemisphere is currently getting record low temperatures. It also explains why we also get record high temperatures. The jet stream has expanded northward and southward. The uh, period has decreased between waves and it has slowed down. This is almost certainly due to human released 
carbon dioxide in the atmosphere that has heated and is heating the Arctic region. Been known for at least 20 years. Anybody who is surprised at this needs to get out more. So I will sum this up for you. So basically, they say that global warming causes shifting wind patterns in the Arctic. Yes, and not only do they say that, all of the scientists say it also because it's true! Now, I quote, dips and troughs created by the shifting Arctic wind patterns could let Arctic air sneak south, studies show. Yes, and it is an observed fact. It has happened. Also note, three years ago, it also happened. Now, I have heard a lot in the media lately that we have record lows for the amount of, of ice in the Arctic. You heard it in the media. You didn't look it up on, I don't know, excuse me for being silly, a science website. You didn't look at the science websites. You know, there's tens of thousands of them out there. You didn't look there. You, you just looked in the media. I noticed that you almost said sea ice and then you said ice in the Arctic. I wonder why you didn't actually say sea ice extent. I think I have an explanation to continue. And what the mainstream media fails to tell us is that we also have record high amounts of ice in the Antarctic. It's nothing but a lie. We? Who in the hell is this we on the planet that I'm currently on, sucked against by gravity? We also have an Antarctic, and on that Antarctic, ice mass has been decreasing for at least four years, probably longer. The facts are as follows. Measuring from 30 reference glaciers on the West Antarctic Peninsula, we see that for the past 30 years at least, the ice mass for those glaciers have been steadily decreasing. In fact, for at least the past seven years, the entire continent has been rapidly losing ice mass and at a astonishing rate. In fact, that rate is actually increasing. This is because for at least the past decade, the entire continent of Antarctica has been warming anomalously, mostly on the west end. And that melting in turn was caused by and is being caused by the warming of the southern ocean. The warmer water has caused and is causing sea ice to extend farther north all the way around the continent. As the ocean surface temperature warms, sea ice extent goes farther north. Also, the sea ice is thinner. Therefore, we get record high sea ice extent and also record low ice mass at the South Pole, specifically the Antarctic. Links to a tiny few of the great many science papers published in science journals after peer review on the subject are in my crotch. Now, in fact, the Antarctic sea ice has been growing ever since satellites first started measuring it 33 years ago. Uh, no, not 30 years. Maybe 10 years, at most 12 years, not 30 years. Sea ice extent has been going farther north because the ocean is warming and the ice is going farther north and it is thinning while the mass at Antarctica has been sharply decreasing and the rate is also increasing in that decrease. Now I happened to bring this up on Facebook and a Facebook user said that my argument was neither honest nor competent. Okay, I give up. What argument? You did not make an argument. You said that sea ice extent has been increasing. No scientist out there says otherwise. You forgot to mention the fact that overall the ice at Antarctica has been rapidly decreasing due to global warming, which is due to human-released greenhouse gases. You forgot to mention that 
but you didn't actually make any argument. So how could anybody say you were wrong when you didn't make any argument? Um, unless he pointed out that you left out all of the vital information. Uh, what argument? And this was his reasoning. He said it was because sea ice does not affect sea level. So I'm going to let you guys figure that one out. Now back to the Arctic. It's interesting that NASA actually admitted that... It admitted? NASA, quote, admitted, unquote? NASA didn't state, they didn't point out, they didn't mention the fact that they admitted it was an admission? In August, uh, an Arctic cyclone broke up and wreaked havoc upon the sea ice. That's right, an unprecedented, never before seen in over 30 years cyclone in Antarctic. Scientists even know why, by golly. See the first part of my reply video. And a large section of the ice was cut off by the churning storm and pushed south to warmer waters where it melted. Now, to be fair, the scientists said that the ice would not have been nearly as effective if it wasn't so thin from global warming. So anyway, there you have it, everybody, uh, the science behind the sneaky cold air. Certainly here in California, it is really sneakily cold. Yeah, that's right. You people in California don't even know what the hell cold is. Good grief. Where I live, northern New Mexico, it was negative 6 degrees Fahrenheit. And just to the north of me, it was negative 13 or so at the um, Chama, New Mexico. You guys don't know what cold is. It wasn't cold in California. Man up!